there isn't anything rocket science about this. I call it the strategy planning, the full cycle strategy planning. Business review, talent review, succession planning review, leader development review. Now, again, business review, I don't know how many HR folks are, are you know, uh, working with business review, but very quickly, when you go in to do, a any of you have ever been to a strategic planning session? Right. So what do you do? One of, the, one of the things that you do at all strategic planning is you do a SWOT analysis, right? And how do you determine the success of your SWOT? How many flip chart pages you end up with <laughs> along the wall, right? So, you know, when I used to facilitate these, you know, before I became an officer, I used to just put tons of paper up around the wall, and then my goal was to fill every one of them. So at the end, the CEO would go, by God, you did a great job of facilitating this, right? And so what happens is you set in this SWAT, and, and he's really done a deep dive, and they just start, quite honestly, sometimes making things up. Well, I think this, well, I think this, I think this is our strength. I think this is our strength. I think this is a weakness. You know, definitely this is a weakness. Opportunities. Yes, there's a Burger King being built across. The, there's lots of opportunities for lunch. You know, what's a threat? McDonald's might go on the other side of the road. Now we're in trouble. Um, this process, many of my clients use this as their SWAT. And it starts with this business review. Business review in a nutshell is this. All of, your, all of your companies, all of your organizations have lines of business, right? Lines of business. All of those lines of business owners come together in front of whoever your strategic planning group is. They present to the strategic planning group. And metrics, not this, I think, we think, I think it's, here's my performance, here's this, and, and in fact, um, I use a, a, a nine box, some people use a five box if they want to force it. I use a, a nine box. They have to, they have to talk about, on, on one axis, they have to talk about how they're performing in this business and give all the metrics and what the potential is for this business line. And each of the boxes is, de is defined and they have to do two things. They have to say, here's where we are today and here's where I think we can be in three years. And everybody gets to hear it. Everybody gets to listen to this. And based on those discussions, that's how budgets are determined. Because believe it or not, not every business line in your organization is a critical business line. The very first one I did for a client, the chief legal officer got up and put the legal department, this was in a healthcare system, in the nine box, which meant that it was the most mission critical department in the entire healthcare system. Legal services. Any healthcare people in here by any chance? So, any of, any of you ever go to see a healthcare professional? So, you just walk, you go right into legal services, right? Right? Because, I mean, it doesn't get any, any, any more critical than that. You know, and I think I, I didn't make a friend, <laughs> uh, but I said, you know, actually, I, I kind of put you down a lot lower. I said, I said, and I pull up my phone. I said, this is a this is a law firm that I use in Milwaukee called Von Briesen. I said, I'm pretty sure I can tap that number. And uh, let's see, flight to, uh, in four hours, they can have a body of people here to just take over the legal department. So I, I don't think that's critical. But in any event, business review kind of gives you what you need to know about their business. Talent review, we've all talked about talent reviews, knowing what the strengths and the weaknesses are of your leaders and a succession planning and leadership development. But what I like to look at is this reason succession planning starts with the word success. Thank you so much for being here this morning.